With us, David Callahan, co-founder of the Demos, a progressive policy organization. So you want, you like the nanny state, right? <laughs> you like it. Look, the, that, that story is crazy. I certainly want it. I, I sent my kids to school today, my four-year-old, with chicken, uh, uh, not with chicken nuggets, with um, uh, Cheez-Its. I wouldn't want to get a... Cheez-Its! Arrest him! <laughs> Can citizens arrest... You can't have I, your kid eating cheeses. Come on. I, I would. I, I would not want to get a phone call from the school about that. Uh, no way. On the other hand, let's get one thing straight. This is not the nanny state. Almost every state in the country has enacted these school nutritional guidelines. Yeah. The and public. The, the public no wants them. The public wants and them. And there's so no is, problem with guidelines. Right. So the problem is when a pinhead school administrator takes a four-year-old's lunch opens it, says, you know what? Your mom didn't really do a good job. You have to eat this. And that's exactly what happened in North Carolina. Well, that's, that's overstepping. But let's not forget where those rules came from. They came from democratically elected legislators. Stop blaming the Democratically state, elected legislators. Who have, an enact, who have enacted these nutritional uh, guidelines. No, no, no. The, the Stop FDA, blaming the nanny state. The FDA enacted blaming. them. No, Congress didn't enact them. The FDA enacted them. And you know that. Look. You know what I'm saying is essentially correct, that Barack Obama, your guy, is creating a bigger and bigger government to regulate how we live. You can't deny it. It's happening. Bill, anywhere, any place where you see the so-called nanny state, you'll see legislators making these rules. The USDA rules that you're up in arms about, yeah. Congress has asked the USDA. And to I have, don't have any have, problem right. with the rules so the, so the problem per is, se. The, the problem is you know what voters want voters this is a risk averse society people are worried about obesity we have an obesity epidemic in this country voters want government to do something Look, about it this is not the nanny state I don't mind control if I would be a, a blatant hypocrite if I said I wanted the government to stay out of all of this Nancy Reagan just say no to drugs fine was Nancy Reagan patting you down and looking in your uh, your coat to see if you had a, a joint no all right Guidelines are good. Don't smoke. Public service announcements. They should have public service announcements saying, hey, you kids, don't smoke marijuana. They should, they don't. I'm fine with it. But what's happening here is way beyond guidelines. And you know it, David. The, the kind of government that you want, you, yourself, and your organization, all right, wants, is a government that tells you what to do, tells you what light bulb to use, tells you what kind of car you have to drive. Yeah. That's not what but America again, is all about. But again, you can suggest, you can persuade, you can do all of those things, but to force people. But again, all of those rules came from democratically elected well, legislators. Well, that's the struggle, is it right. not? Okay, so this is not about government out of control. This is about what voters it's want. It's about those, government intrusion. Those no, light, you're those, right. Those light bulb if, rules came from the Bush, Barack Obama the, the Bush is, administration you're ab from Congress in 2005. You're absolutely right. If Seat Barack Obama gets reelected president, if he gets reelected, what the American people are saying then is, we want this colossus. We want the government in Washington to provide for us and tell us what the hell to do every day. That's what's at stake, and, I'm, and you're not. You're yeah. honest enough, man, to admit it. You're on the colossus side. You're on that side. You want Havana or Moscow, or Berlin in the 30s, to tell you what to do. I'll give you the last word. Well, I think that it's, it's not just me. It's millions of Americans who want these rules. It is not government bureaucrats out of control. It's voters who want this stuff. All right. And, and, and voters laws, will decide. Motorcycle helmets. I, I'm not into a lot of that stuff, but people want it. All right. David, thanks for being an honest guy.